Hello, and welcome to another edition of Chamber Chat Live, brought to you by the Tri-County Chamber of Commerce, dedicated to building communities, creating connections, and supporting commerce. Special thanks to our sponsor, Tim Hiller and Ben Exchange, as well as our host, Bill Vitiello, representing the Victory Bank. And now, on to our program. Hi, everybody, and welcome into Chamber Chat Live. My name is Bill Vitiello. I'm the Institutional and Business Development Manager from the Victory Bank. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hey, what'd you guys think of that intro? Pretty cool, huh? So let me tell you about this uh, project. So, uh, you know, as we continue to evolve here with Chamber Chat, we always want to uh, involve different people in the community. And this is no exception. So for those of you who don't know, I am the chairman of the Montgomery County Community College Alumni Association. And I was part of their communications program when I went there back in, we won't mention how long ago that was, but uh, when I went there and I, I always, as a student, I always had projects that I was working on. And um, the communications department over at the community college was kind enough to partner with us and uh, with some students in particular who created that intro. So not only from the graphics, to the music, to the voiceover and just the, the entire uh, production of it. Uh, so we're very pleased with that partnership with the Montgomery County Community College. So guys from the CAPG, thank you very much. I know Evan and uh, one of his fellow students, and actually the student's father was the actual voiceover. Uh, so it really is a, a pretty cool project. So thanks once again. And, uh, uh, you know, interestingly enough, we're coming to you on International Podcast Day. So even though uh, you know we're doing Facebook Live and Chamber Chat on video here, this originally did start as a uh, podcast day, so uh, or start as a podcast. So it's uh, pretty fitting that we are recording again on International Podcast Day. Okay, uh, enough of, uh, intro. Uh, my guest today is from the Chamber of Commerce. It is Danielle Rexroad. Danielle is the Marketing and Communications Director for the Chamber. Danielle, thanks for being on Chamber Chat. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it's my pleasure as well. So, you know, it's, it's there's some times where we have to take a break from our norm and all of our uh, guests that want to be on, and we have to hit the reset button a little bit, right? And especially now in the times of uh, COVID and, you know, we're still, we're slowly coming back and things are cha still changing. You know, we need to be able to connect with the chamber and you need to pass along some information about what type of programming is coming up and where you guys are at right now. Um, before we begin that though, how are you doing? How are you doing personally? I'm good, I'm good, yeah. It's it's nice to be back in the office. Um, we have a new space that we moved into uh, in August and it's great, we all love it. And I just, I like being around everybody and being back in the office, so. Yeah, you guys, I stopped. Good. Yeah, I stopped by a few weeks ago. You guys do have a a, a nice space there. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's and you, really nice. Yeah, and you're right, and you're right about being around people, right? You get good energy, yeah, and for sure, there's motivation there. And I know being around yeah. uh, all the other ladies over there is great. Um, yeah, it's you miss out on that when you're working from home, uh, just that personal connection. So it is nice to be back with everybody in the team. Nice. And are those uh, are those I pick Pottstown t-shirts or hoodies in the back there? They are. Yeah, I have a shelf okay. in my office. Yes. Okay. So if anybody wants one, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. <laughs> yeah. We have hoodies and long sleeve t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, and and all right, and you can go by the chamber and and pick them up. Um, yeah, yes. the hoodies. Did the hoodies just come out? I thought I saw a, a post by paid. Right. Uh, we got them last year. Um, we just have a bunch left over there. They are for paid uh, Pottstown area industrial development. We share our office space with them just for anyone who didn't already know that um so the hoodies and shirts the proceeds go directly towards paid and helping um their ongoing efforts to revitalize Pottstown. so Great. but i do some part-time work for paid for marketing so if anyone is interested in a shirt or a hoodie yeah you can reach out to me cool absolutely well it's good i'm glad you're doing well i'm glad the office space you're back in the office space there yeah <laughs> Um, so there's a number of things that you wanted to uh, review that the chamber has going on. So uh, so I'll let you I'll let you kind of begin there. I think uh, we'll go ahead. I'll just let you begin. Okay. So uh, just something we wanted to share with everybody. Um, we recently started a YTCACC initiative. Um, you may have seen it already on our social media pages, our emails. Um, we also have a billboard up. 
So um, a couple of weeks ago, we reached out to a portion of the membership and asked them to kind of think about their reason as to why they are a chamber member. Um, you know, what do they get out of it? What's the core reason for them being a part of TCACC? So what they did was they filled out a sign, printed it out, and then they took a picture of themselves and their staff um, holding their sign up. Um, and so a lot of people said, you know, they're a part of TCACC for the connections, the education, um, the leadership development. So we then took those photos and we've been putting them out on social media to give those members some exposure. And we've also been turning the photos into a graphic for a billboard. And each member who does participates in the campaign has a billboard up for a week. So it has their logo, it has their photo on it. So we were just trying to think of some ways to give the, these businesses some exposure um, and just learn more about why they're a member of our organization and kind of strengthen that community feel. So we still have that going on. Um, we really appreciate everyone who's participated in that. And it means a lot to us to know why people you know, are members and the value that they see in being a part of the chamber. Well, I, I think it also means a lot to the membership that you're actually taking the time to solicit uh, some feedback, right? Right. You know, right. You, you don't know what type of, well, you think you know what type of programming to put on, but you can run networking events, you know, uh, one day a week for, uh, you know, 52 weeks in a year. And that might not be what the membership wants. Right. So why not solicit the membership a little bit and say, hey, what are right. you guys looking for? You're looking for more Zoom right. things. You want to do in-person things. Is it uh, exactly. you know, webinars or whatever it is? So I, I've always, uh, ever since I've been a member of the chamber, always been impressed on how much feedback you guys ask for, uh, because this really is our chamber. It's it's not your chamber. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's our chamber. And, you know, we yeah. want programming that's going to resonate with us. So, yeah, well, thank you for that. We It's good to hear that because obviously every business that joins joins for a different reason and each business has a different need. So we really try to cater to every individual business's different needs and it's not always easy. We have a large membership of wide variety of members, but we just, we want to give the businesses as much as we possibly can out of their membership. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, the next thing you had uh, that you wanted to chat about, I think was member spotlights. Is that correct? Yes. Um, another thing that if you follow our page, you may have seen up as posts, we have been doing weekly member spotlights. So um, we've kind of turned it into a sponsorship package. So um, if you sign up to do a member spotlight, you get a dedicated email with information only about your business is sent out to our whole membership on the Monday of your week. And then each day of that week, um, we kind of break up the portions of that email and make them social media posts. So every day of the week, your business is getting out on our social media page. We're tagging you. We put your website, your contact information. Um, you get a banner up on our website and our Facebook page. So we've it's another way that we have been trying to give businesses more exposure. Um, and some of the businesses that lost the marketing opportunity with us because of COVID, you know, not being able to have events, and some other big changes where they lost the exposure and the sponsorship opportunity, we wanted to kind of fill in that gap of what they lost. So um, we have done two so far. Last week we did Maley. Uh, this week Spotlight is Boyertown Oil. And we have a couple more planned, so keep an eye out for those. And if any of the TCACC members are interested in taking advantage of that, they can also reach out to me. Yeah, I know those member spotlights are a really good opportunity to kind of take it a step further. I mean, people might see a logo or people might hear a name, but to understand a little bit more about the people who are behind it yeah. and what's actually behind the business, right. uh, I think is is really important. And again, it's just another way uh, to reach your audience. Uh, I saw we had a comment drop in there from uh, Chelsea Craig. Chelsea, thank you so much for tuning in. Chelsea's actually a member of my network. Uh, she runs a, a company called Rhino Reviews that manages companies' online reputations. Uh, again, she's not a member of the chamber, but so thankful that she can join. Uh, and, Absolutely. and thank yeah, you. I, yeah, I told her about the project, and she's like, oh, "I have to tune in. I have to see what it's all about." So, here's what it is, Chelsea. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. The next thing you have here uh, was going to be some. Uh, you have a host of member benefits that you want to discuss. Do you want to go over those? 
Yeah, I just wanted to, there's so many benefits to being a chamber member, um, but I just wanted to highlight a couple that I think businesses can really uh, take advantage of now. Um, anyone who joins the chamber gets access to our member information center. So once you join, you get a special login. Um, it's basically a platform that's only accessible by other members, um, but it also feeds into our website. So if you are hiring, if you have um, a special event coming up, if you have an announcement or some news that you wanna put out as a press release, you can do all of that stuff through the Member Information Center. Um, it comes with your membership. There's no additional cost to do any of those things. And it's very easy and straightforward to do on the Member Information Center. So there's so many tools aside from that as well, but those are a couple of big ones um, that we really are just trying to encourage people to use right now. Um, I'm always seeing people on Facebook are posting that they're hiring and we just want people to know that they can also promote those things through us as well. So just, you know, if you are a member, log into the member information center, take a look at it. Um, and if you have any questions about it or not sure how to use it or any of the tools, you can reach out to any of the staff and we're happy to help you with that. So, so I was also, and I'll just back that up by saying it is ridiculously easy. Um, we've done, I, I know I've done them in the past and we've done it on behalf of Victory Bank when again, I think we've had some events posted on there. I know my um, Victory Bank business series that I used to host uh, back when we used to see each other in person, uh, we used to post on there as well. It is, it's super easy to do. You fill in the information, you click submit, somebody at the chamber, I'm assuming maybe that's you, Danielle? Uh, goes through Melissa, the okay. Melissa mostly handles um, approving press releases and the job listings and all of that stuff. What I do is I take the information that people submit and I turn them into social media posts or I plug them into um, emails and newsletters. So we definitely will, if you post something like a job listing, we'll then take it and put it on our social media platforms as well. So, yeah. you know, it's not just going up on our website in the member information center. We use that information to keep promoting it for you. Yeah. So again, it's really easy. You click submit, they review it, and then it starts getting blasted out on the, all the different uh, social media channels that they they have. So um, do you, do you want to review just real quick what uh, social media channels are available to the membership? I know some folks might use Facebook. Some folks might, you know, want to take a look at YouTube now since we're on YouTube. Yeah, we but are. Ahead, on YouTube if you want to take a moment, yeah, take a moment right. and review all the different platforms. So um, aside from our Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and we just started um, becoming more active on our YouTube channel again. Um, we've been pulling these live videos and putting them up on YouTube. So if you ever miss one, you can watch it there. Um, so yeah, we we're active on all those platforms. So we definitely appreciate you following us. Um, if you're a member and you tag us in your posts, we can reshare them for you to our audience to give you some more exposure. So um, if you have any questions about tagging or you can't find our pages again, reach out to us and we can help you with that. Yeah, abs absolutely. All right. Uh, anything else in the member benefits section that you wanted to review there? Um, I don't think so. Um, I think just one thing I want to add is we're always sending out information and announcements in our emails. Um, so, you know, check your email for our newsletters and our event emails so you're not missing anything. Um, and we also, we've been putting in some COVID resources into our newsletter email that goes out monthly. So we usually send out a couple emails a week. So just keep an eye out for those so you don't miss anything and you stay up to date um, with everything that's happening. So, yeah. So regarding the emails real quick, you know, all of us get a lot of communication, right? right. And, it, and it's very easy just to see something from the chamber or anybody else and just click delete without even reading it. But I'll be honest with you. Most of the, most of the chamber emails, they're like, they're less than three minutes to read. Like they're usually, they're usually not this overwhelming email that, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of resources and, and links that are in there, but it's very easy just to kind of go through and click on something that you need, you know, identifying something that you need, but it's a very easy read. So I would encourage you if you're a member to obviously read the emails that the, uh, the chamber sends out. Yeah. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Good. All right. So, uh, upcoming events. What? Yes. What? <laughs> yeah. So just the last call for an event we have tomorrow, we are doing a chamber cinema night at the Sunnybrook, Sunnybrook drive-in theater. 
Um, they will be playing Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which is a classic. Um, if you are a TCACC member, it is free. If you're a non-member, it is $10 per vehicle. Um, we have the event up on our Facebook page, and it will also direct you to our website where you can register. Um, but anyone's welcome to join us. Just going to be a fun night. Um, you Each vehicle will get popcorn and candy and a goodie bag. So just come out and have some fun. Um, it is tomorrow. The gates open at 6 p.m. and the movie will start at 7. So yeah, I know. I know Victory Bank has uh, at least two families that are attending. Yeah. Uh, so we're we're looking forward to getting some feedback there. And and what a good movie, right? You know, just yes, uh, it is a very good movie. Yeah. 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 All right. So go ahead. What else you got going on? So after that, the next event will be on October fifteenth. It is Leader Cast Women Ripple Effect. Um, so if you're not familiar with Leader Cast, they have um, a couple events yearly that are focused on personal and professional development. Um, this one obviously is geared more towards um, professional women. So it's a full day conference from 8.30 in the morning till 3.30 um, in the evening. Uh, it'll have six different speakers, um, including Abby Wambach. I'm sure some people are familiar with her. She was on the U.S. soccer team. Yeah. Um, so LearCast events are great. Um, so they're open to everybody. Where It's kind of presented by a REACH program, but anyone is welcome to attend. So that is also up on our Facebook page as an event, and it'll again direct you to our website to register. So, so, so you were saying anybody can join, and I just I, I have a funny story. I've shared this on a few different occasions. I, I'm always with the chamber events. I'm always gravitated towards the content of what's being right. presented, and on now three separate occasions. I've signed up for these women only events <laughs> that, are, that have happened. And uh, I'm like one of maybe one or two guys in the, in the entire room. Uh, and it's kind of funny, but but that's right. okay because- Yeah, that's okay. Again, the content is really, really strong. Trust me when I right. tell you, I've never been disappointed with any of the events that have been, you know, quote, women only or women centric. Uh, there's really value in there for everyone, so. Yeah, yeah. we. You don't have to be a chamber member to attend, so anyone is welcome to come to that one. It is virtual, so Great. you'll get a link to sign on um, prior to the event. But um, cool. it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So all right. Anything else after on. that that you wanted to review? Yes. On Wednesday, October twenty eighth, we are having a virtual seminar called "Maximizing My Membership." So it's for TCACC members only. It's basically if you need a refresher on your member benefits, if you are a new member and you're not quite sure what benefits we offer and you just want to learn more, it's going to be um, an hour long. We're just going to kind of walk through some of the things I mentioned earlier, the features of the Member Information Center, um, some other ways you can get engaged in the, in the chamber and take advantage of your membership. So that is on, it's a Wednesday, October 28th. So it's free so I, for members. Yeah, I, I will also back that one up too. If you're a member of the chamber, this will blow your mind how much is available to you and the value yeah. you get for your membership. It really will. I mean, that, how long How long is it, Danielle? How long is the webinar? It'll be an hour. Yeah. Okay. There's probably three hours worth of content that they could, oh, <laughs> they could go over. Definitely. Yeah. Right? It's going to be condensed, but we're going to try to hit you know, as much as we possibly can. There's so many benefits that are already built into the membership that you're paying for that are no additional cost. And we just, you know, I think sometimes people don't necessarily know what works best for their business or they're not even really aware that they have this tool to use. So we just want to help the membership know all the things that they can take advantage of. You know, they're paying for it. So why and not? And you raise a good point too, because every business is different and every business is different in how they connect. You know, what works for one business, maybe on social media, maybe isn't good for another business. Maybe that other exactly. business does run some kind of webinar or some kind of educational series or something like that. But um, if you're a member and you don't know of all the options or, you know, how are you going to be able to customize that for your audience? So that's one of the things that the chamber helps doing, not necessarily in that particular webinar um, presentation, but just by talking with Danielle, talking to Melissa, talk to Eileen, let them know what your business is looking to do and how you're looking to connect. They connect people all the time, all day, every day. That's what they do. That's why they're a chamber. 
So it's really important to, to reach out to them and, and maintain that relationship. Yeah. And we are always willing to help our members. We love when people reach out to us with questions. So please feel free to reach out to any of us at any time. We're happy to help you um, learn more about your membership. If you need us to connect you to someone else, please feel free to reach out to any three of any of the three of us. Oh, I lost, I lost audio. Oh, I'm here. Sorry. That was me. That was, no, it's okay. <laughs> I was going to say you guys usually are very responsive and very professional um, <laughs> with, uh, with responding. So, uh, you know, kudos to you again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, anything else you want to chat about? Uh, one final event I just want to mention is the following day on October 29th. It is a REACH event um, featuring Karen Norheim. She is the president and COO of American Crane. Um, so if you're not familiar with REACH, it is our women's program within the chamber, um, really based on you know creating a community for professional women in the Tri-County area. Um, you don't have to be a chamber member to be a part of REACH. We welcome anyone to join, get connected, you know, inspire each other, uplift each other. So that is another event sponsored by REACH. Um, again, open to anyone inside and outside of the chamber. So that'll be a luncheon type event. It is virtual, but we're actually um, offering the option to come stop by our office and pick up a boxed lunch that will be catered by Bouse Catering. So cool. that is another event a couple of weeks out, but anyone's welcome to attend. I like it. Cool. Thanks for reviewing all that. I appreciate it. That's that's just kind of like a taste of what you would get in that uh, new membership orientation, right? Yeah. 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 yeah there's, there's a lot, but it's but it's all good. Anything else you wanted to review before uh, we ended the broadcast today? Um, I think one more thing I just want to shout out is Tri County Young Professionals. Um, if you are a young professional in the area, we have a membership based program. Um, connected to the chamber, but it's another thing that you don't have to be a chamber member to participate in. Um, it's open to young professionals ages 21 to 40. Um, obviously right now, not really any events going on, but it's a great network of young professionals. Once it's, you know, safe to do so, we will move forward with having events. Um, so if you're a new professional in the area, recent grad, anything like that, it's a great way to get connected to other people in the region. Yeah, it is. I know uh, some folks in that group uh, and it's, it's a dynamic group for sure. So it is, yeah. Yeah, if you have any interest <laughs> there, please, please reach out to the chamber. Uh, Danielle, thank you so much for being a guest today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. But you're, but you're going to hang on because I have a networking tip, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, well, just at the end of every episode, I'd like to be able to give a networking tip. Again, that's what you're a member of the chamber uh, for. And this one's going to be really, really simple, but has a really big impact. So if you have a LinkedIn account, get yourself a professional photo done. There's a lot to be said for how you present yourself. And in our Monday episode, I said about creating a brand. Well, your image is part of that brand as well. And I know, look, some of us might be uncomfortable a little bit in front of a camera and don't like our picture taken, but we are in a very visual society right now. And people like to be able to connect visually with who is behind the company or who is behind the title or what your function is at the organization. So please eliminate um, the non-picture profiles Eliminate the ones where you're uh, at the end on a group and just kind of crop yourself. Uh, please reach out to any one of the photographers that are members of the chamber and they will get you a professional headshot and ask them for advice. Uh, you know, have a conversation about how you want to be portrayed. You know, my LinkedIn profile, I'm in a jacket and I'm in a tie. Uh, I am a banker that speaks to, you know, being a banker is that we present ourselves that way. But there's also so many other ways to do it. You know, maybe you make custom furniture uh, and it's a picture of you with a custom furniture piece or or something that you've done. Um, you know, it could be anything, almost like a lifestyle type photo, uh, they call it. So it could be outside. It, you have the, num the options are infinite, uh, but please get yourself a professional a LinkedIn uh, profile picture. And if you're if you don't have a professional photographer, 
who, you know, you know, through the chamber, you know, ask a family member, ask a friend, maybe ask somebody, you know, who's in the Snapchat or Instagram uh, generation because they have their cameras with them all the time can probably take a pretty decent picture of you. So uh, photography and its availability has come a long way. So thank you so much for listening to my networking tip. Uh, Danielle, anything else to add before we go? I don't think so. No. Thanks for having me. No. Well, thanks again for being on. Folks, that is Chamber Chat Live. My apologies. My video went out. That's Chamber Chat Live for this week. Again, my name is Bill Vitiello. I'm the Institutional Business Development Manager for the Victory Bank. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, turn on notifications, subscribe, or share. Want to be a guest? Email podcast at tricountyareachamber.com. Great job, Danielle. I think we lost Bill for a second there. I drew. I am so sorry. That's all right. You know, it's, it's like it, it worked just fine. So we'll, we'll just we'll just wait for you to come back on. Yeah, hold on a second. You know what happened? I had an old, <sighs> had an old battery in my digital SLR, and it went <laughs> without warning. Uh, it's all right. I think we I think we made it to the end. We heard your voice in you know yeah. a couple seconds. We got the outro in there, and I think it worked just fine for the audio. It's going to work just fine. Yeah, cool. You have a great job, Danielle. Um, I'm going yeah, was, to render this Danielle, and get this excellent. over to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much. We're really grateful for all that you guys do. We would not be able to do any of this without you. So just please know how much we appreciate all the work you put into this. No I'm problem. Sure. Yeah. Two, two quick things, Danielle. Um, with LinkedIn, I checked back in with them. Um, they want to see more video content um, shared to LinkedIn okay. uh, before they approve the connection for going live there. So these videos that you'll have access to in Dropbox, if you just upload those, those should uh, do just fine. Um, okay. Just post them there. Yep. And for YouTube, if you want me to syndicate there, I just need uh, the login credentials for the YouTube channel. Um, okay. And then I'll just automatically syndicate it right to the page. So I don't need to download and upload and all that other kind of stuff. Okay. All right. Well, um, that should be over to you probably in the next half hour or so for this particular video. And I'll just keep on doing the exact same thing. You should be getting updates, but typically I'll get them uploaded within, you know, a half hour to an hour after the, uh, the actual live sessions. And uh, that way you have access to it to manipulate videos and, you know, repurpose it however you want. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, have a good thanks, day. Great. Thanks, Danielle. See you.